Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm with Traverse Tool Company. I was at the counter in our, our uh, showroom the other day and something caught my eye and I asked if I could do a review on it or just kind of an unboxing. It's the Minitoyo Digimatic Micrometer. So here we are doing a, doing a um, breakdown of its features, advantages, all that kind of stuff. So I opened the package. First thing I see in here is a certificate of inspection. This is not a calibration certificate. You can get them calibrated, but, but uh, unless you do, they don't come, uh, every one of them doesn't come calibrated. And what's this? Ensure that the micrometer is zeroed, adjusted prior to use. Of course, that goes with any micrometer, caliper, any kind of measuring tool, actually. And then looks like instructions in 137 different languages. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's a lot of instructions here. Now I can't get it folded right. Anyway, <laughs> there's that. If you buy one and it's not folded, that was this one. <laughs> okay, so here's the product. This is the micrometer that just caught my eye. And isn't that, isn't that sexy? Isn't that a snazzy looking? micrometer so okay it's it's eye-catching but it's pretty packed with features so where do i begin so um it's ip65 protected so uh, ip stands for ingress protection um that means it has a high level of protection against liquids and against uh particles so uh in, in the machine shop environment that would be chips or or dust or something like that um, so it has that. It has in the back here, you can plug in a, uh, a, a data output so you can send measurements right to a spreadsheet on your computer, even through Bluetooth. It is capable to, um, to use Bluetooth uh, to transfer data. You can also, while you have it plugged into your computer, you can program this little thing. So you can actually program what tolerances you have on the on the specific workpiece that you're measuring and it'll tell you how much over your tolerance it is and how much under your tolerance is it's um it's quite an amazing little tool in that respect um it has uh it'll, it'll read five places past the decimal so i have my nifty little go-to one inch micrometer here that I've been using for an embarrassing number of years, but um, I like it, but it'll, it'll read four places past the decimal. Maybe if on that fourth place, if I'm in between lines, I might be able to guess at something, but this goes five places past. And um, that fifth digit, by the way, is only either a five or a zero. Everything else goes through the whole spectrum of uh, zero through nine, but um, that, fit, that fifth digit is uh, uh, either one or the other. Um, what else does this have? It has a ratchet thimble, so you have your lock on it right here. So it's got that ratchet thimble on it to ensure that you're not over tightening it. I like that. Um, obviously the anvils are carbide. I think pretty much all, all micrometers have that. Okay, here's the big deal with this one. Um, this spindle turns four times faster than a conventional spindle. So I'm going to see if I can do this. So I've never used a micrometer in my left hand before, but I'm going to do a race. Let's see. So this is loosening. Okay, so I have two micrometers. I'm going to start opening them using the same amount of speed, same time. Look how fast that Minitoyo quantum mic is opening and that's up to an inch already and here I am on less than a half an inch. It's not quite up to an inch, 0.998. But, um, but so, so you can see the difference between the two. This opens really fast. Now, I've used a micrometer so, for so many years that I've learned to cheat a little bit and, and you can always, you know, to get close, you can run it up and down your arm or just kind of spin it like that. 
but you don't want to do that when you get down close to the workpiece or if the anvils are getting close to touching each other. Um, you definitely need to slow down. So with this quantum mic, um, you don't have to do that. And, and oh, by the way, if you are going too fast with it and you clamp onto the part that you're measuring too fast, it'll actually tell you you're going too fast. Your reading might be off a little bit. Do it again and slow down. It won't tell you all, all of that, but it'll, it will tell you that you're going too fast, meaning that you need to back off and just slow down and, and get a, a better reading. So do I like it? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I'm a fan. I, I think it's very cool. It's got the, the Minotoyo colors on it. I'm a fan of the Minotoyo brand. So hope you got something out of it. Hope you learned a little bit about the quantum mic and um, stay tuned and uh, see what videos are coming up next. Thanks for watching.